Hello, this is your Take It to the Top coach, Sharice Taylor, with Tailored For You Enterprises. I want to continue to talk about uh, customer service support for those of you who work in the area of fast food or any type of, of food service uh, industry. I, I know that it can be extremely demanding. I did it. I did five years at rallies. I did a year and a half at McDonald's. I did two days at Steak and Shake. And I also did two years working at a deli. So, and I'm, I have to, I'd have to think further. Um, I, I've had so many jobs that I can't, those are the ones that I can recall and remember that have to do with food service at this moment. But it can be very demanding in many, many ways. And so I wanted to uh, produce this series to offer uh, tips and techniques, things that worked for me, things that I did um, in regards to the customer, in regards to my coworkers, um, in regards to my mindset, to just keep my sanity and <laughs> to not only survive, but thrive in high pressure environments and fast food food service is usually very high pressure um, type of, of situation so I wanted to uh, put this series together to offer support um, and, and also let uh, food service workers fast food workers know that there is someone and there are probably a lot of someone's out here who respect and appreciate the time and the effort that you put into your work um, I was uh, talking with a woman just a few weeks ago. Um, she's so wonderful. Um, she works at Hardee's uh, close to my home, and she's a working single mom. And, you know, we were talking about um, her children and, and the schedule and being able to see them off to school and then having to zip to work and not always being there when they... Um, got off the bus and just all of this and it's it's hard because the work is very fast paced it's very demanding physically and otherwise and it it doesn't pay a lot <laughs> it doesn't pay a lot and so um, I love to give compliments uh, and this I wasn't planning this particular part but for those of us that um, go to fast food places or go to food, other food service places, delis and food shops and, and the like, coffee shops, etc. Um, take the time to encourage the workers there. Smile, be patient, say thank you, say please. Um, those things go a long way. So there are things that the customer needs to do and perhaps I need to uh, develop that series uh, as well. But um, talking about the worker I want to offer support right now to the worker some of the things that you can do here on part two of beating the fast food blues um, two other things two other tips that I want to give you and the first one is to smile to smile no matter what if it is at all within you to smile and to smile as much as you can I mean don't walk around uh, your workplaces hey everybody hi <laughs> don't go don't go overboard you don't want people to think you're not in your right mind but as much as you can be pleasant keep a bright and pleasant disposition and smiling helps you to feel better physically and it take believe it or not uh, and that I've heard this uh, various locations that it, it takes less effort less muscles to smile than it does to frown that's what I hear <laughs> and I believe it and so um, smile I encourage you to smile and it, it will really convey an appreciation to your customer it will convey a warm welcome to your customer and it will also help to brighten the atmosphere uh, between you and your coworkers, your management. So um, smiling is a really, I know it sounds simple, but it's, it's something that can really help build your success um, if you're working in food service. The second thing that I want to encourage you to do is to be mindful of the brightness 
and the tonality of your voice. The brightness and the tonality of your voice. Um, and also the words that you're, you're choosing. So, you know, it's one thing if you go through a drive-thru and you hear this. Welcome to Wendy's. How may I help you, please? Versus, welcome to Wendy's. May I take your order? I mean, it's just the inflection, the tonality, the pace of the words. I know this sounds really crazy to some of you, but it, it really is a craft in how you articulate and how you share what you're saying and how it's received, how it comes across. Um, I've had some recent experiences, I will not name the restaurants, but um, I've had some experiences with a few fast food places just recently and it's been terrible. I mean, I almost felt like I was infringing upon their day. It's like, oh, I'm sorry, I need, you know, I, I inquired about getting extra napkins or ketchup and they acted like it was the worst thing in the world. So um, I've even had when people convey the wrong attitude when they're taking my order, if the attitude is really sour, I will just drive off and go a few miles to the next, you know, McDonald's, the next Steak and Shake, whatever it is, um, because I don't want to deal with that. You know, I'm about to give you my money in exchange for your product and so I don't have to do that I can go somewhere else and so if I feel like the worker who is on the line or at the window doesn't want to be bothered I won't bother them <laughs> if I can help it at all so you want to number one smile number two watch the tonality and the attitude all of those things with what you're saying and how you're saying it so you want to welcome the customer you want them to feel welcome you want them to feel like you want to help them uh, to make a decision to make a purchase so keep those two things in mind uh, stay encouraged no matter what I know that it takes a lot of patience uh, to work in food service but you can do it and remember that the skills and the things that you're developing here in fast food are transferable uh, through other segments of your career, whether you want to stay in food service and move up to management, regional management, ownership, etc. These are going to be skills that if you can develop them now, working the front line, working in the kitchen, what have you, then they're going to carry, um, they're going to carry on with you throughout the rest of your career. So be encouraged and keep doing what you do with excellence. And remember, until next time, the best is yet to come. Bye-bye. Thank you.